If you want to know something about GDI waveform with the Pico scope, this video here is for you. So let me show you what I got here. First of all, at the engine computer here. First of all, um, I have taken these uh, what they call it, I guess, the dressing covers off of each connector here. This and um and um I only needed to take this one off, but I took both of them off because I've been doing some other things. So we're gonna back probe in here some of these wires here. I'm gonna see if I can show you here. See this brown and white wire right here. And if you peel this wire back here, there's another brown wire right in here. These uh pin uh 75 and pin 51 for a uh this is a LLT 36 uh GM high featured engine in the 2010 Buick LaCrosse. And we're going to use the Pico Scope 2204A. So let me show you the setup here. Okay, we got two grounds here that are piggyback. We're going to connect to the battery. We got two leads here that we're going to uh, connect here. And I'll show you what this is here in a second. And over here, let me show you what we got the scope. Um, I haven't set the scope up yet, but let me go ahead and set that up now. This is going to be uh, the channel A. We're going to do go to standard 20x let me do this first then we're going to hit um hit this one here wait a minute let's go ahead and do this now on 200 let's do it on 100 volts that's good channel b we want to turn to manual go to probes standard 20x and let's go back here oops click the wrong one here again and 100x I mean, 100 volts, sorry. So the reason why I picked 20X, if you're not familiar, is that I have two hand tech, uh, let me see if you can see this here, uh, 20 to one attenuators here for each channel. Because again, these uh, Pico scope here only takes up to 20 volts max. And these fuel injectors push out about, oh, your good fuel injector is gonna push out more than 65 volts. But now before we begin, let's just take a quick look at what, a regular um, port injection waveform looks like. So you can see why this whole process drove me crazy of learning this. So the here, if you take this port injection here, you see the first, uh, where it's at 14 volts, the, uh, it's, 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 this is a power to ground situation here. So you're gonna start at power, go to ground to turn it on, then when that thing releases, it's gonna spike up and then come down and then you're gonna see your pentel hump that's showing mechanical movement Then it's gonna go back down to 14 volts. Again, this is not necessarily a video to show enough analyze waveforms, but this is basic stuff I'm telling you that I have learned recently. So you can see the difference between this port injection versus a GDI injection, which is gonna be pretty amazing, but there will be some tricks and I'll have to show you um, why this is also amazing to see this compared to what we are going to see. So next, let's take a look at the wiring diagram here. The wiring diagram um, here is um, I got it from all data and um, well, it um, again, we're just going out the pin 75 here and the connect X1 and pin 51 because in this case, Oh, one other thing, let me tell you this again. Let me bring one other thing I forgot to tell you about the port injection is that you're only going to connect to the control wire to measure the waveform. So basically, it'll only be one probe. But in this case, with GDIs, you would have to probe what they call the high side and the low side, which is pin 75 and 51. Again, there is other ways you can really do this test of what, what they call a I believe it's called a current ramp. I will be doing that in another video because again, um, I cannot get my low amp probe around one of these wires because it's, they're so tightly bound. Maybe there's a way I can figure this out how to do it, but I think there's a way I can go inside of the fuse box and use a jumper in there and measure current off that. But I'm not sure this yet. That's why that's gonna be for another video. So, um, with that said, being that I have showed you the setup and I've showed you the wiring diagrams and the uh, port injection, uh, what that looks like, we're going to go ahead and get over here and uh, set the camera up and I'm going to show you how to probe. All right, guys, I'm back here with the car running and uh, let me go ahead and move myself over here so I can show you how to probe this thing. Sorry about the camera moving a little bit, but I got to get behind it here. So we're going to just take and put this right here on battery negative. 
over here. And these two here, we're just gonna put one on the high side and one on the low side. I believe red is my high side here. So the high side is gonna be pin 75 here, which is on the, this row here. We're just gonna go ahead and slide this in. Let me count, one, two, and three. All right, this pin here is gonna go on the low side. Make sure I get the right pin here. case hold up here give me a second oh there we go wait a minute uh, uh, give me I'm stepping on the wire here oh there we go all right so both of them are probed in All right, so we got a waveform on the screen. I just had to push them in a little further. So let me step over here for a second. Let me put that back here, zoom that in. So you can see everything is nice and plugged in. And now if you look at this screen, I know you're wondering like, what on earth <laughs> is this? Let's blow it up just a bit here. I know you're like, what on earth is this compared to the port injection? How, how can I make any sense of this? Now that we have our waveform, let me go ahead and save this right here. We're just going to call this uh, file name. We'll just leave it that and hit save. And now that we have our waveform saved, I'm going to go ahead and stop the camera. We're going to sit down and I'm going to show you something special about these two traces here and how to use them if you don't have access to do the ramp, the current ramp test. All right, now here we are inside of Pico 7 now with the waveform we captured. Now, doesn't this look interesting how it compares to a port injection, how it just looks totally different. And on top of that, you got two traces here versus the one trace you see in a port injection. Again, this is GDI if you didn't catch that in the beginning. So now, I'm just going to scroll back through the waveform a little bit up here in the top. I'm just going back and you see this is kind of how it was quote unquote live. Um, yeah, so this is kind of consistent. This is what you see now. Now, now what you know, what you're supposed to do with this is what I've recently learned is this. I'm just going back to the end. We're just going to go back to the end of it. I mean, really, you can pick any point you want. It's totally up to you. This but again, this is just for me learning. This is just for me showing you. Maybe you might run across this before you run across some other better videos in mine, but um, yet and still, this should give you some idea of what to do here in case if you haven't seen this before. So now you're gonna go over here to math channels. This is where I like this here. You go to math channels. And now because you have a high side and a low side, watch this when you do, cause don't forget we're going in a GDI, we're going from, from um, ground, to power again you see the zero here going up to power versus from the port injection we're starting at power which is 14 volts and going down to ground to activate it so first of all let's just do a minus b here and we're just going to move this trace down and take a look at this this almost looks we're getting a little bit closer to kind of figuring out how this relates and what this might look like with a port injection well wait a minute because this is opposite, how about let's invert this purple new waveform so you can see. So let's deactivate this and how you would do it, you see here they have no A minus B. But what you can do is go to add a channel and hit B minus A. And then you're gonna click uh, next. And then we can just leave the color as uh, just gray, that's fine, doesn't really matter. And hit finish. And um, Let's see now, there we go, there's a trace there. So now take a look at this trace. Now how about that? You see you're going, even though you are at zero here, you're going, you see this dip, that's kind of like the dip, the ground inside of the port injection. Although you come up and have these uh, these two humps here, which I can't really explain, but that ain't, 
that's, that's not really where I'm going to go with this. But if you come all the way over here, this part of the, of the, um, of the waveform here, that looks just like the ending part. And you even see somewhat like a pental hump right here as well. So basically when you take the waveform of a GDI, I mean, if you're skilled enough, I guess you can look at these two blue and red traces up top and kind of see what's going on. Now that I've seen it, I can say, okay, this looks like a good waveform. Plus I can, I got a waveform save where I can compare it. And I, you also can uh, invert this waveform by B subtracting your, um, taking the high side and subtracting it from the low side and that inverts it. And therefore you get a wave that looks very similar to the port injection. So how cool is that? Um, by the way, I learned this here from a uh, scanner Danner um, channel. Um, I, I just watched some of his premium content on his uh, website and I'm gonna give him a shout out. Cause man, that guy's a beast. I gotta say he's the, the waveform King. I, it's a lot of videos I watch out here about diagnosis, but uh, man, he, I gotta say, he, he, you know, he's, he, he's the man. But that said, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found something educational about it. And if you did, please just give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.